Um, hello everyone, my name is Lisa Noni. I am a scientist in the Gorilla Glass uh, development group in Corning, New York. I've been working with Gorilla Glass for about eight years. And what I'm here today to show you is some of our early Gorilla Glasses and try to demonstrate the concept of um, damage resistance and chemical strengthening in the glass, okay? So remember when Josh talked about in his presentation, he managed, he, ma he mentioned that a flaw, uh, glass breaks from a flaw plus an applied stress, okay? So what we have different, we have here are two different methods of flaws that we've put into glass. We have an abrasion, a, a sharp contact, and we have scratches. And what we're going to do is we're going to apply a stress to them and see what happens, okay? So the first demo I have here is a soda lime versus Gorilla Glass. This is our original Gorilla Glass, so it's the first Gorilla Glass that was released. Um, again, which at the time uh, was on most smartphones was soda lime, okay? <clears throat> All of these three glasses are the same thickness, and if you look in the center, there's a small shaded area that's actually been abraded, okay? That's a silicon carbide um, particle abrasion, and that is it's similar to a sandblasting. And what we have found in uh, analyzing devices that come back from the field is that this abrasion sim simulates the, par the sharp contact damage that occurs in the field to handheld <coughs> devices. And then it gives us a way in the lab to be more consistent with the testing and the damage introduction that we do. So I'm going to need a volunteer. Would anybody like to volunteer? Okay, if you can, can we make some room for her to come up over here? Okay, here's our first glass. It's a non-strengthened soda lime. What I'd like you to do is hold this like a pencil. Just push down with the round end inside the black circle. Give it a little more. Okay, so you broke that. But it was in it was not too bad, right? Okay, this is non-ion exchange though. So remember, I said it was non-strengthened. What I have next is a strengthened piece of soda lime. So this has been chemically strengthened, similar to Gorilla Glass. Okay, and it's been damaged in the same way. Can you give that one a try? Okay, so she had she needed two hands for that one. It was a little bit tougher, right? Okay, but you still broke it. Yeah. Okay, and you can tell too by the fracture pattern. For example, this one had broke into more pieces than the original one, and that's related to the amount of stress that she had to put in there to get that glass to break, okay? So now, again, soda lime can be ion exchange, but it can only go so far, because she was still able to break that. Now we're gonna do Gorilla Glass, okay? And I'd like you to do the same thing. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna save you if you eat. <laughs> <laughs> Most people cannot break that one. So that just shows you the benefit of the chemical strengthening, the ion exchange process. And the composition of Gorilla Glass allows us to go much deeper into the glass and that therefore we have more damage resistance after it's been damaged. Okay? Okay. Um, so many people think of uh, glass as very rigid, for example, that it's not very flexible. This demo here is just a quick demo to show you this is glass, it is wrapped in plastic just for safety, but it can be thin and also flexible. Okay. Yep. Good. So with, again, that's just kind of to dispel the myth that it's not flexible, okay? So <clears throat> devices that had been in the field, you know, with, with Gorilla Glass, we improved drop performance, um, people are having their, de you know, keeping their devices longer. At that point, they start to say, well, my device is getting scratched now. Right? My problem is scratching. I need, I need, you need to improve the scratching. So what we did was we developed Gorilla Glass 3, which um, helped resist scratching, but still has a, the same dam the great damage resistance that we know of Gorilla Glass. So I have um, three samples here that we're actually going to test in our incline plane. Okay, so our incline plane, is, it's a version of an industry standard ball drop test, and I have a 128 gram ball, so this is actually a pretty heavy ball that we're going to actually roll down the incline plane and, and hit the parts with, okay? So the first thing I'm going to impact is a piece of aluminum, okay? So this aluminum is really, it's the same thickness as the glass, it's just to show you the, give you an, uh, an idea for the impact that we're going to be um, put imparting on the parts, okay? Three, two, one. So there you can see there is a dent 
in the aluminum. Okay. So now let's try some glass. So now I have an alternative aluminosilicate glass. Gorilla glass is an aluminosilicate glass as well, but this is an alternative. This is not Gorilla glass, okay? If you look in the, on the sample here, we actually have two black dots. In between those two black dots is a scratch. It's a scratch that we put on in a controlled manner in the lab with a diamond indenter. It's very difficult to see because of the tape for safety reasons, but trust me, it's there. Okay, let's do the same thing and see what happens. Three, two, one. Okay. And you can see the glass is broken. Okay. And if you look closely at the fracture pattern, remember when we talked about um, the number of pieces that the glass broke into? This broke into more pieces, but you can also see that they've actually originated from the center where that scratch was. Okay. 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 Our next sample is Gorilla Glass 3. Again, with the same scratch on it. Now let's try this. Alrighty, three, two, one. Okay. So Gorilla Glass 3 survived, the same impact. Again, it's been scratched in the same way. Okay? So that was a dynamic impact. That's something similar to what happens when you drop your phone. But I'm also going to show you a static load. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put put this part on here. This is a ring on ring lever press. Um, again, it should show up there. Um, and we're going to put a hundred pound load. Okay, so we've got over 100 pounds on that scratch after it was impacted dynamically and it still survives. So imagine this test something similar to putting a damaged phone in your back pocket and sitting down and applying a stress that way. Okay, so I've showed you various ways that we apply damage to them and apply stress to it and the benefits of Gorilla Glass and the strengthening. The last thing, we just have a couple minutes left I want to show you is on the table right behind you over here. All of the items that are in this barrel are laid out on the table. On the white pucks are typically where we affix pieces of glass. We tape them, we throw them in the barrel, and we tumble them for different periods of time. On the tablet, you can see the, the picture, what you're looking at is the, the black is damage that's been created from the test. The soda lime has a lot of damage. The um, Gorilla Glass 5 and 6 have much less damage, but are comparable to each other. So I'll turn this on for a minute and let you take some video if you like. I don't know how exciting it is, but... today.